Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here, and we're looking at the improving heel strike protocol with the, the smart spine. This is another real signature protocol for the smart spine. This is a favorite of a lot of teachers and a lot of clients. And this first part is really trying to improve dorsiflexion and um, specifically the heel strike when the heel goes down onto the ground and we're walking, the ability for the bottom of the foot to open up so that the, the lateral and the medial borders of the feet open up, um, which doesn't happen for a lot of people. So this helps to inspire, reinstate that, that biomechanical happening as we start to walk. All right, so we have the seam down and um, we have her lower leg and heel right in the center of the smart spine track. Her other foot is on a sitting box here um, beside the Cadillac. And then she'll hold on to the handle and she wants to make sure that she's holding on, but she doesn't have to necessarily tug. So her shoulder and her hip, she's trying to relax as much as possible. She's also trying to feel the opposition between the sitting bone and the heel as we do this. So Marie Jose talks about this as um, imagining that you're butterflying a shrimp. <laughs> so we're, uh, we're going to inhale and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure into her foot and exhale. So April has lots of mobility in her ankles. So take a deep inhale and exhale. I have my thumbs at the back center of the smart spine and my fingers on the front. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of climbing down the shrimp of her foot, <laughs> top to bottom really imagining that I am opening up the bottom of her foot. Good, and then we're gonna hold here. I'm gonna hold the pressure. And just going down, 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 all the way to the heel. And essentially, we're going to see a, a further escalation of, of this protocol, but essentially what I'm, I'm trying to do is sink the front of the ankle, that talus bone, down and back so that the bottom of the foot can really yawn open. And you'll see more how to do that on the next video. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.